Here's an example application of the Gaussian plume equation. As we read through the problem, I'm going to uh, take the words and write down what these each of them mean in terms of variables. The emission rate of ethanol from Lane Stadium is 100 grams per second. This means that our Q is 100 grams per second. At three kilometers downwind on a clear fall evening, what is the center line ground level concentration of ethanol? Remember, look, we're looking for the concentration at some point in space. We need to know what that point in space is. Well, three kilometers downwind means that our X is three kilometers. Center line means that Y equals zero. We're not kind of off the side of the plume to either side. We're right at the center line. Ground level means that Z equals zero. The effective plume height is 41 meters. That means H is equal to 41 meters. The wind speed at this height is two meters per second, 2.5 meters per second. So that's our U. And at three kilometers downwind under these conditions, sigma Y equals 80 meters and sigma z equals 30 meters. Interestingly, x does not appear in the equation, but it's tied up in the sigma y's and sigma z's because those are actually given for a specific value of x. And as you go farther downwind, they'll increase as the plume is spreading out. But we can go ahead and just substitute these values into the equation. So c is equal to q, or 100 grams per second, divided by two times pi times u, which is 2.5 meters per second, times sigma y, which is 80 meters, times sigma z, which is 30 meters. Then we multiply by the exponential of minus y over two sigma y. Remember y is equal to zero, so we have the exponential of zero, which is one. And then for the z terms, we have the exponential of minus z minus h, so that's 0 minus 41 meters squared over 2 times sigma z, which is 30 meters squared, plus the exponential of minus z plus h, so we have 0 plus 41 meters squared, divided by 2 times sigma z squared. Notice that these two terms are the same. In the parentheses in the numerator, we have minus 41 squared and then plus 41 squared. Um, so we could just take one of these terms and multiply by two. The result here is that the concentration is equal to 0 0.0021 grams per cubic meter, which is equal to 2.1 milligrams per cubic meter. And for comparison, the workplace standard for ethanol is 1,880 milligrams per cubic meter. It's, we're well below that, not surprisingly. This is outdoors and far downwind from the stadium.